Hello, it's Leanne and Simon here on Loving Life Now for today's topic, Talk Isn't Cheap. Thanks, Lee. Absolutely. Talk yeah, isn't cheap. Sharing. So what have we got to say? Who are we going to share it with? Um, you're going to do some sharing across our yes. social pages. So uh, as you join us on Facebook this evening, of course, we'd love to welcome you to the stream. So uh, pop your details in the comments. Let us know where you're streaming in from this evening and uh, who's going to kick us off and let us know you are here. can see people ping in onto the Facebook Live. So we're here on Facebook, but we're streaming over here on TikTok too. So let us know where you're streaming from. Love to welcome you to this evening's stream. Of course, we're coming to you live from our dining yeah. room on our home office on the Gold Coast. Uh, Joe, kids have started. Joe says, good day. Hello, good evening. Hello to Shani. Good day to Agatha in Melbourne. Good day to Kayla up there in Boston in the US. Uh, we've got Law over in Perth. G'day, Law. Great to have you here. Uh, Dolly, we've got Dolly here. Hi, guys. Glad to be here from Kalani. Oh, excellent, Dolly. Uh, Annette Johnson, hello from Melbourne. Great to have you here as well. So we've got a great topic lined up this evening called Talk Isn't Cheap. No, it is. And it's on the back of, um, it's on the back of the last couple of weeks, really, on what we've been talking about. But we've, as you join us, uh, let us know where you're streaming in from. Pop your details in the comments. G'day, Bernie. Doing backflips here in Burley. Great to have you here. Uh, Ida, hello. Hey, guys. Looking good. Uh, Ida's in Malms, Malmesbury. Oh, is that <laughs> Malmesbury? Me? Malmesbury. I don't know. Is that how you say it? Malmesbury in Victoria? So um, either she's away from home or that's where she lives. Hey, guys. Maybe she's moved. So nice to see you. G'day, Michelle. Hello to you. Thanks for joining us here on our Facebook Live. So we're actually live on Facebook and over here on TikTok. So hello, everybody. Yeah, we are streaming on Lee's Facebook page, Loving Life Now. So if you want to come and join us on the Facebook side and you're over on TikTok, come across to Loving, Loving Life, Now, Life Now. Number two at the end. Well, that's the handle, but the actual yes. page is just Loving Life Now. I know, but the username is number So, two. hi guys, nice to see you. So, Michelle, who else we got? Connie. Connie says, hello from Perth. G'day, Connie. Connie. Thanks for, uh, thanks for joining us. I'm nearly done. I'm just so, as you, uh, as you come on, um, of course, mm -hmm. let's know where you're streaming in from. G'day, Brett. Uh, good evening. Welcome nice. to you from Brisbane. Uh, presume you're on Brisbane, uh, in Brisbane this evening, so a big welcome. All right, I'm done sharing. Excellent. We can close that up and get rid of it. Let's and go. Uh, welcome Let's everyone to the stream. Rolling. Hello, welcome again. So, what's today's topic? Talk isn't cheap. Talk isn't cheap, and this really is on the back of the last couple of weeks' topics. Actually, so we've been talking about um, success conversations. We've been talking yeah. about, you know, do you have com conversations of stuckness? Uh, okay. a word. Yeah, well, it is a word now. Conversations like really of, of stuckness. Gabby Viner uh, says hello from Varsity. Hello, Gabby. <coughs> Brett says he's in North <laughs> Brisbane tonight. G'day, Brett, over there in North Brisbane. Um, Greg Horton says hello from Wondo. Wondo? Wondo? I think that's what it was, Greg. Uh, but thanks for joining us. Kim <laughs> says hello from Rabina. G'day, Kim. All thanks right. for joining well, us. We're done with the intros. Let's get started. We are. So, on the back of the last couple of weeks, we've been talking about success conversations, and Cheryl just joined us from Sydney. Um, we've been talking around, um, as I said, conversations about success. You know, do you yeah. are you talking about success or are you talking about being stuck? All right. Yep. So talk isn't cheap. No, it is. So not. what it's we very expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so what we talk about, we we bring about into our reality, and we yep. know that, right? So the person who engages in conversations of success... They take, take action. They do. They are yes. action takers. They are. They are action takers. And they talk with language. Or success language. Yeah, success yeah. language. They have positive language. So they talk in words like, I can. Mm -hmm. And let's just figure it out. Yeah. So they're, they're success conversations mm -hmm. that individuals will have. So is talk cheap? No, talk's not cheap, right? Like talk said, isn't cheap. Expensive. So focus where you want to apply the effort. So are you talking about what you can do? And are you talking about how to figure things out and how to make things work? Or are you not? So focus where you apply the effort. Now, people that are having success conversations also create productivity and enthusiasm along the way. Yeah, they're, so they're excited about what they're doing. They are excited, but 
but they're also productive. Yes. Because they're structured, they want to achieve a goal, so they go after the goal. They, uh, you know, there's that old saying, Lee, that if you want something done, give it to a busy person. A busy person. Why would you do that? Because a busy person is structured and organised, <laughs> right. and they're going to get it done. They will. Ultimately, the more organised we are, the more we create, the more time we actually have. Yes. Whereas a lot of people think the opposite. Would you agree? Yes. Yeah, a lot of people think, oh, well, if I'm too structured, I won't have any time to do what I want. Mm -hmm. no, it just means that you're on purpose. Exactly. To actually get more yeah, achieved. Get stuff done. Yeah, get more achieved on mm -hmm. purpose. Now, when people are talking about and having success conversations, they also choose to disengage from what? What do they disengage from? From the old conversations. Yeah, the old conversations. So don't allow those old conversations, those one of being stuck, mm. to become part of their focus, right? They want to disengage from those. Yeah. And they want to, it's almost like you want to put your blinkers on yep. and, and just go for forging ahead I'm in a new to direction. I'm putting my blinkers on. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Just put your blinkers on. And there's that, <laughs> other, on there's that other old saying you put your head down, your bum up, and, yeah. and go, go for, for it, it, right? So, so, you disengage from the old conversations and they're things like, I'll always be like this. Yeah. Or it'll always be like yeah. this. Or it'll always be like that. What else? Um, what about I'm just progressively becoming this, right? Yeah. That's, that's what you want to replace it with. You want to replace it with, I'll always be like this or it will always be like that to um, I'm progressively becoming this. Mm -hmm. So they're talking about what they're creating. Yes. The future self. Yep. Who am I being? Who do I want to be? Yep. All right. I'm on, I'm on target to have. achieve my goals. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, now the focus, you've got to focus on the new result. Yes. Would you agree? Yeah, what you want to achieve, yeah, not what so you don't want to achieve. We did a we did a, uh, a goal setting exercise for our international company. Um, when was it? Last Friday, last Friday morning. Yeah, yep. and uh, we hosted an international training call, and we did a, a a stream about goal setting and about the importance of goal setting. So you know, this comes up for me now. Do you focus on the new result? Do you focus on the goal that you're looking to achieve? Yes, of course you do. Right? Absolutely. You don't want to focus on what you've achieved in the past. No. That's not going to get you anywhere, right? That's no. going to keep you stuck. Or, or focus on what I haven't achieved in the past. <laughs> All right. So what is happening to the actions that we're undertaking? That's what we want to focus on. What is happening to the actions that we're undertaking? And we want to focus on the goal moving yes. forward. All right? For sure. Now, of course, if we also want to go down that path of success conversations... We've got to move away from the old what? Herd mentality. What's a herd mentality? Well, it's what where everyone just follows everyone and does what everyone else is doing. All right, so they become sheep? Yes, sheeple. <laughs> sheeple. It's sheeple. All right, it's so, sheeple. <laughs> so how, do you know what the percentage of population is that are part of the herd? 97%. 98, actually. Is it 98? 98. Yeah, 98%. Right. Of people, oh, how did you get that wrong? I'm not nine, 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 nine people um, live life as a part of the herd. Yeah, right. They have a herd mentality. Now you can be surrounding yourself with people, so you can be having success yeah, conversations. This is too many, yeah. Too I many. Should, I should have said that way too many. <laughs> and of course, you can be having success conversations. However, you can be surrounded by people that are who stoppers. Stoppers, yeah. And these people are part of the herd. Yeah, Who are they? Yeah. What, what sort of people are they? Um, negative. Yep, they are negative. But um, where do you find these people? Ah, family, friends. Family. Family are some of the worst stoppers. And they can be part of the herd, right? Yeah. So uh, if you've got success thinking going on and you're changing your mindset around what it is that you want to achieve, some of the people that are dearest and closest to us and those who believe that they've got our best interests at heart can be your closest family and friends and they can be part of the herd. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So one thing I learned when I came into this industry 13 and a half years ago is that in order to create change and success, you've got to find people that are creating success. Yes. Right? Go find them. Learn what it is that they're doing. Follow what they're doing. And 
Go do what they're doing, mm -hmm. ultimately, right? <laughs> Don't copy them, but use them as an inspiration. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, it depends what they do. I mean, our business is a duplicatable business, yeah, right? You don't copy, you duplicate. Yeah, you There's duplicate. Yeah. Yeah. So you can duplicate the success principles of yeah. others. Mm -hmm. You can duplicate the success strategies of others. You can also learn what people are doing to create greater levels of success and model yourself on what they do. Yes. Right? Mm -hmm. So move away from the herd mentality. So look at the people you're surrounding yourself with, family, friends, because guess what? They've all got opinions. I was going to say something else then. <laughs> well, there is a saying. There is a saying. There is a saying. And uh, that is that everyone has, a, everyone has an opinion. Uh, yes. Everyone has an opinion and they're just like... Yes. Everyone has something else. <laughs> all right. So some people already know that. All right. So they have opinions. But guess what? Their opinions can often be unhelpful. Yes. They can also be limiting, um, and they can be trying to have justifying conversations with you yeah. to try and justify their opinions or their um, thoughts yeah. on things. Yeah, so they want to try and justify why their opinion is right. Mm -hmm. And ultimately, what are they trying to do? What are people in the herd trying to do? Um, pull you back into the herd. Pull you back into the herd. They're trying to keep you in the herd. Yes. They don't want you to break away and create success. They want you to stay where they are. Why is that? Because it's comfortable. Yeah, and it also makes them feel good about themselves. Yes. Yep, because if you because do better than them, then they're not going to feel good. 100%. If you go and create success or go and do something different... Makes and them feel bad. Makes them feel bad. Right? They don't, they don't, they, they don't feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Because it's like, oh my God. You know? That person's a good friend of mine and they've just gone off and done this and created success. Why, why, wouldn't, why couldn't I do that? Mm. Right? So... It, uh, it allows them to go through a process of self-reflection. Bruce says the job of the herd is to keep you in the herd. Absolutely. It's like sheep and cows. Yeah. You watch a sheep or a cow move away from the herd, what does the rest of the herd do? They moo and baa to get them back. Yeah. Tell them to come back. Don't lead. <laughs> All right. So many people in the herd continuously restate what they don't want in life right now. Mm -hmm. So they talk about what they don't want. Right? Do you know people like that? Do you know people yes. who talk about what they don't want mm -hmm. more often than those that talk about what they want? Yep. Unfortunately, we surround ourselves with people that that are talking about what they want to achieve. Mm -hmm. Right? It's a bit like the goal setting exercise that we went through um, last Friday when we spoke about uh, what it takes to create goals and what it takes to create success. And you've got to have a vision for yourself. Yes. For sure. Right? You've you got to have, have a vision, you don't know where you're going, and how do you know what actions are take? Absolutely. So it's important. So you've got to shift your mentality mm -hmm. from trying. Ah. All right? From trying. We spoke about this over the last couple of weeks as well. Um, the topic was uh, try, um, not try, not doing, right? There's no such thing as try. We know that. Yes. There's just do. All right? So we've got to shift from the trying mentality mm -hmm. uh, and create a habit of doing. But you know what the people who try do? They no. They just <laughs> they just do I was it. Thinking, no. <laughs> yeah, they just do enough. Yes, to make it look like they've done the right amount, but they haven't. They've just done a little bit. Yeah, and that justifies. They look like they're taking the action. Required. And that justifies them then saying oh, that. I did it. I gave it a try, mm -hmm. but it didn't work for me. It didn't me. work for me. I gave it a try. I gave it my, gave it a shot. Because I only did a little bit, not a big bit. Yeah. So you've got to shift from the trying mentality, and those people have a habit of doing just enough so that they bring about a desired result, mm -hmm. but not the ultimate result, right? And then you've got to shift that thinking to doing. Yes. Right? Now, when we're doing, what are we doing? We're taking action. We are taking action. Um, it's a habit of doing it to its entirety. So yes. we're going to do it, whatever it takes. We don't play small, we play big. We do play big. <laughs> but you've got to finish the job, too. You don't sort of quit halfway and go, it didn't work for me. Yes. It's like the person panning for gold. Yeah. You know, or digging for gold, and he's going through the tunnel. Yeah, there's a, two, there's, so those, there's two tunnels, and there's two... Um, Two diggers and one one keeps digging and the other one stops and give up. And the guy that keeps digging, what does he do? He strikes gold. Strikes gold, yeah. Right? Because he just did. Didn't give up. Again, we've got another great saying in the industry that says 
Successful people will do what unsuccessful people are not willing to do. Yeah, we're going to get gecko around. <laughs> I'm going to get go friends. So, um, so the successful people will do what unsuccessful people are not prepared to do. Yep. Right? So in we're doing, we've got to finish the job. We've got to do it again and again until we get the desired Design result. result. Right. Um, and then, of course, what happens? You're no longer stuck. Correct. And success becomes tangible. What does that mean? What does it mean it becomes tangible? It means I can feel it. I can mm. touch it. I, I've actually created something. I can feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I've created something, right? It becomes success becomes tangible. It yeah. becomes something that we can feel, touch, see. And then guess what? There's no alternative. That's it. There is no alternative because once you start creating results and creating something different and you start doing, there is no alternative. Actually, I had someone today on a business call, on a, um, like a Q and A call, ask me, so is this the only thing you do? And I'm yeah. like, yes. This is the only, so this is the only way you make money? Yes. Yes. But he's like, ah, oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> All right. It's so no alternative. Absolutely. So you've got to allow your life to be filled with conversations of success, right? Yes. Which is talk isn't cheap. We took, this is the topic. Talk isn't cheap. So you've got to allow yourself the space to be having conversations of success. Now, conversations of being stuck is like a pandemic. Do you believe it? <laughs> conversations of feeling stuck is like a pandemic. Or a virus. We know all about those. It spreads. <laughs> And it seeks more victims, right? That sounds very familiar. Oh my god! And we so, didn't write this. This was written. This is written way before. Oh, I added into it. Oh, did you? Yeah, a little bit. I, I, I added into it. But uh, you know, success is conversations of being stuck are uh, like a pandemic or a virus. It's they tricky. spread, and it seeks more victims, mm -hmm. right? And you see people get drawn into conversations of being stuck. So how do we avoid that? How do we avoid it, Lee? So you stay focused on how you can instead of how you can't. Yep. How you can instead of how you can't. Or we can have conversations about how you will instead of how you won't. Or how you do instead of how you try. It's another good one. Or we can have conversations about how success feels instead of how it might someday be. Right. Right. So we have conversations about how success feels as to how it might someday be. That sounds like a bit of a dreamer, isn't it? it does. You can see the person sitting there. Oh, someday. Someday. I wonder what sex, success would be like. <laughs> like what are you <laughs> talking about? I, I, I just... <laughs> the tongue. What is it? So let's go back to that. So the conversation of success, how it might be someday. Hmm. You'd have to, be, have to be a bit of a dreamer, wouldn't you? Yeah, but, uh, it, I can ma see it. it makes me think of this emoji. Yeah, yeah, that emoji, absolutely. <laughs> All right, so how you can instead of how you can't. Talk about how you will instead of how you can't. How you do instead of how you try. Yeah, I was going to say how you don't. <laughs> and how success feels instead of how it might someday be. Someday be. All right. So these are all powerful conversations to be having. Now, of course, we know talk isn't cheap. No. So you've got to let actions speak louder than words. Than words. So this is how you build up, right? You build conversations of success through what we've just spoken about. You engage in the conversations with others. Yeah. Share your success stories or your success goals or your success dreams. Um and start counting your wins. Yep. And when you're winning, what happens? Then you keep winning. You keep winning. Right? Ask yourself, what was good about my day today? I, I used to say, what was my top 10 wins for the day? What was my top 10 things that I loved about today? Yeah, well, absolutely. You've got to count your wins. What, what was something that, that was good today that was a win in my life? 
did I save some money on something? Did I get a good deal on something? Did, did I, I win something? Did my boss pat me on the back and tell me I did a good job? Did I... Did I get home five minutes earlier? Yeah. <laughs> did I uh, have no drama with the kids getting them to school and home? Did I have no traffic on the school road? Yeah, like, what were your wins, <laughs> right? That, that would be a big win. <laughs> what were your wins? Somebody rang out and told you how grateful they were for you. That's a good win. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Uh, or appreciated. Somebody close to you appreciated you for the day. And that's a win. Mm -hmm. So you've got to count your wins each and every day. And by doing that, you're going to continue to win. Even the smallest wins will expand and grow. When you focus on it. When you focus on it. So whatever you give the energy to, the energy will create and mm -hmm. grow, right? Yep. So if we want to give positive energy to what it is that we want, um, then of course we'll create more positive energy. So... Such an important thing in life is to focus on our language and mm -hmm. what we are using and what word tracks we're using, what we're saying, what we're speaking into reality. So word to remove is the word hope. Hope. You can't live I on hope. I hope this is going to happen or I hope that'll happen. Like yeah. Just take the word hope out of the sentence altogether. And the other one is need. Need. No one needs anything. You deserve it. You require it. You, you like it. it. <laughs> you don't need it. So need is a disempowering word and so is hope. So, uh, you know, if you say to somebody, I trust you have a great day. Not I hope you have a great day. Why would you hope that? Another good one is when people go, well, if this happens, just change it to when this happens. Exactly. You've got to, you've got to change the language and, uh, and really focus on empowering conversations empowering words and uh, remove the disempowering ones because the disempowering words don't serve anyone. They don't yeah. serve you. And, um, you know, thoughts become things. Our words, we create into our reality. Yeah. We speak into our reality. So uh, so that's it for our topic. Talk isn't cheap, right? And we've got some, some exciting coming up this weekend. We have got a lot on this week. We are, well, we're here on Facebook Live and TikTok this evening. Tomorrow morning we're hosting a... Uh, international training call. training call for our company um, right here from the Gold Coast all over the world. And then on um, Thursday, Friday, Friday we've got people coming to the Gold Coast into our place Yay, where we're finally. we're um, getting together with some friends. And on Saturday we've we got a event. we've got an event, a live one day business training event, which we're hosting from the Gold Coast. But we're actually streaming it live. So we're actually live. going to be on stage like a normal event where there would usually no be three, four hundred <laughs> people, but there'll be no audience. There's no audience. Well, there will, be. there will be an audience. It'll be streaming around the world. There'll be an audience. It's going to be very cool. They'll be on the big screens. So uh, if any of you out there uh, watch the recent uh, Tony Robbins event, um, then, uh, you know, that's what we're going to emulate. All those yeah. people yeah, on the screen. we're going to be our own Tony Robbins. That's it. That's what we're emulating. <laughs> not quite. Yeah. What do you mean, not quite? <laughs> Well, I'm having a conversation about Tony? success. Okay. Yeah. No, I haven't got a bigger head as Tony. <laughs> Tony's awesome. But anyway, no, uh, we're doing a distributed Tony day, which is so anyway, really fun. So that will be that'll be super fun. That's on Saturday. Um, Saturday night, we've got a, a wrap up dinner with the, dinner. the leadership who are attending the event, and uh, and then of course uh, into you know into next into next week. But uh, this is exciting. We've got an exciting few days ahead of us. Really right. busy schedule. Uh, we've got a couple of presentations that we're doing live on stage, and uh, and of course there to support all the other speakers that are that are delivering uh, training to all of our business owners right around the world. Yep. So we've got people attending from the UK, Canada, uh, Portugal, throughout Europe, in other countries. We've got people attending from New Zealand, uh, all over Australia, all different parts of Australia, from WA all the way back across to uh, New South Wales, Victoria, down to Tassie. And uh, we've got people in North America, um, right throughout the US and Canada and even even South America, uh, all streaming in via a proprietary Zoom. And a lot Zoom. of them will be doing it all nighter. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what time zone they're on, um, they've got the ability to participate and uh, and be there live with us. So, uh, so that's cool. exciting. It's going to be very fun. So thanks for hanging out with us. We'll be back same time, same place. Next week. Next week, and we'll have a, another great topic. Remember, talk isn't cheap. Have success conversations, and uh, and of course that leads you to creating greater success. It does. So have a great week, everyone, and we'll look forward to seeing you back next week on our Facebook Live. Bye.
Thanks. Bye-bye.